Hello folks, welcome back to the weekly NeoVim plugin video. So this week we're going to be covering something very interesting because it's a replacement to a package manager that we've been using throughout the series. We're covering lazy.envim. Now, those of you who have followed the series for a while know that we've been using Packer to install all of these NeoVim plugins and Vim plugins. But today we're finally making the switch to lazy, which is an alternative package manager for our NeoVim plugins. Um, I think we all understand why we need a plugin manager, and it can be kind of tedious to manage all of these plugins on your own. So hence, this is why package manager ex exists. Today, I'm going to do the sequence of events a little different than previous videos. I'm going to just show you what it looks like to enter into a project or into NeoVim uh, as soon as you're finished installing lazy.envim and what lazy.envim will do uh, the very first time that you run it. And then we're gonna go through how to install a plugin, we're gonna go through how to uninstall a plugin, how to upgrade a plugin, and also we're gonna go look into the, like some of the neat little features that lazy provides. And um, after that, or before that, we're gonna also look into how to configure uh, lazy.envim and how to install it. So, I have already have lazy installed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run the container in which I'm doing all of these uh, NeoVim installations in. And I do that with my command called exec. Okay, so I am now in my container in which I do all of these NeoVim uh, plugin videos in. I'm going to go ahead and cd into my config.envim file and then go into my init.lua. Let's see how lazy reacts. Cool, so you can see here that lazy automatically picked up all of the packages or all of the plugins I wanted to install and showed this really nice GUI here with all of the plugins that uh, it has installed successfully. So that's awesome. Right out of the box, I think this works so much better than Packer. Because with Packer, you kind of have to install install the plugins before you configure them. And if you don't, you're going to get an error each time. But with Lazy, that's taken care of for you. So here you can see all of the installed plugins. And if you move your cursor around and hit enter on any of them, you can see where exactly they are installed where it's coming from, so that like the URL or the GitHub repository, the version, and the branch off of that version, and so forth. So you get a lot of really cool data here. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I went ahead and set up a plugins lazy file with all of my plugins. So for Let's, let's use this one as an example, friendly snippets. Uh, to install friendly snippets, you just place this right in here, in this file, and then uh, save it. You can see here that lazy automatically detected a config change, and it reloads it. And hit enter. Now if I open up lazy with the command lazy, you can see here at the very bottom, what plugins are not installed. So friendly snippets, it's been loaded, but it's not installed. So it's recognized by lazy, but it's not installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit I to install. And now it's installed. Friendly snippets already up to date. Awesome. So uh, it's already loaded, it's installed, and that's all there is to it, really. You can install plugins Right in the editor, there's no need to restart Vim. Uh, you can see here at the bottom, though, it's not loaded yet. But if you wanted to load it, you just have to restart Vim. So I do that real quick. And then I can open up Lazy. And now I can see here that Friendly Snippets is installed and is loaded. Awesome. So what if I wanted to uninstall a plugin? Well, I'm going to quit that. Let's go into my lazy 
or plugins underscore lazy dot Lua file and comment out friendly snippets using my GZC comment plugin. And once I do that and save this file, oh, I can reload them and then go back into lazy with lazy. And now up here, it's going to show you, you can clean a plugin. The plugin that we're going to clean is a friendly snippets. So in order to clean it, you just put your cursor on that and hit X and it's cleaned up. That's all there is to it. And it's uninstalled. There's nothing else to do. So I quit this UI using Q and let's also look into how to upgrade a plugin. So if I wanted to upgrade a plugin, let's go into lazy plugins, lazy again. Say for example, I wanted to up, upgrade flash right now. It's currently set at the tag v one eighteen two. So if we go into lazy and we see where exactly flash is here, the version matches up the tag that I specified in the plugins lazy config. Uh, so if I wanted to update this particular plugin, I just remove the tag and that'll automatically tell it to upgrade to the latest version. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hit Q there, go down to flash, D F comma to get rid of all of that. Add another curly brace there with the comma at the end and go ahead and save that. Reload NeoVim and reopen lazy. Now flash, you can see here, hit enter on that. It's still version 118.2. If I wanted to update it, I press U. Well, there you go. It looks like it's been updated and we're still on tag 118.2 because I believe that's the latest version of Flash. Let me see. Uh, actually, it's from the same author, so I'm going to go ahead to into his repository. Go into Flash. Where does it keep Flash? Yeah, I think I just Flash. And in Flash, we can see that the latest version is 1182. Yes, so I only probably got a few commits in from that version. But that's how you would update a certain plugin if you wanted to. All right, let's go back to lazy.envim here. Quit that. And uh, cool. Now, another neat thing with lazy is if you go into the home section here, hit question mark, you can see what available keyboard shortcuts are available for plugins themselves. So if you wanted to restore a plugin to the state in the log file, you could. If you wanted to show the log, you could. So let's check that out. Let's quit that, go back into lazy home. So I think the command for that was GL. And so GL will show you all of the logs that have been applied or that are relevant for this plugin. So in this case, we're looking at the Git logs for this plugin. That's kind of cool. So a question mark again to see what else is available to us. We can check for updates using git fetch. We can restore and all these other things. So, so it's pretty cool. Now, if you wanted to view profiling, you go into lazy home and you hit capital P or shift P. And you can see here some numbers on lazy based on the profiling it does. So you can see lazy start 6.2 milliseconds, lazy done 29.8 milliseconds. So a lot of cool profiling numbers that you can view here if you'd like. All right, so how would you configure lazy? Um, that's also pretty easy. Installing and configuring lazy isn't too hard at all. If you go to the GitHub repository, scroll to where it says installation, it's gonna say, hey, you need to add this into your init.lua to bootstrap lazy.envim. So that's exactly what we've done here, starting with local lazy path all the way down to end. And then there's also this vim opt RTP prepend, which we've added here, right here. 
And last but not least, this is going to be something that's a little different than was in the configuration files. So require lazy setup plugins.lazy. What I'm saying here is that we're going to load the plugins table from a file called plugins lazy. So if you look at my tree structure here, oh, control N to open up MVM tree, go into my Lua directory. You can see here in my Lua directory, I have a plugins lazy file now. So beforehand, I used to keep all of my Packer use directives in a file called plugins, but now I'm replacing that with plugins lazy. All of my plugin configurations will stay the same because I keep them in plugin configs. I didn't have to change anything in plugin configs. So all I've done is added this new file, plugins lazy. And if you go into that file, you can see here that all it is is it's a table with all of the plugins I want to install. Some dependencies defined, some of them have tags defined. All of this can be found in the plugin spec section on the GitHub repo. So you can see here what properties these plugin specs take in. So there's a lot, a lot of things that you can do in here. All right, well, let's go back into my init.lua. And in here, you can see that uh, uh, that's all there was to it. I just replaced what I had before with this and made this new plugins.lazy file kept everything the same, and that's it. Um, Lazy.envim just installed itself and was able to work right out of the box. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I've really been enjoying Lazy.envim, and I hope you give it a try. I think it's probably one of the best package managers out there. This is what I use for my personal development setup, and uh, i see you guys next week. Bye.